Hey everyone, uh, recently we had enhanced uh, OpenAlgo user interface with an uh, modern and responsive uh, UI with DAISY UI components. It also comes up with a uh, uh, small this theme switcher with a light and uh, dark instant theme switching. So it's also mobile friendly layout as well. So what this time we had implemented is like, uh, so cool dashboards and uh, real time uh, trading updates. So means if uh, anybody is sending in automated orders, instantly you can see that the order book, trade book, position book, uh, and uh, the logs will be automatically updating. So we had added a lot of in innovative controls. So we had included a lot of uh, uh, new features which user can very quickly uh, they, 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 that makes their uh, uh, trading automation life very much easier. So let's go and discover one by one. So we have this FAQ page for the beginners. So who are already a beginner to open algo, they want to know more about it, uh, about open algo, they can get to know more about it. As of now, 10 brokers has been implemented. Uh, most of them are already a popular brokers and there are more brokers we are yet to implement, which are there in our pipeline. So let me go and uh, log in into the platform. So I'm gonna click on login. I already created my account. I set up my account. So I'm gonna enter my uh, credentials here. Maybe if you're a first time user, you'll be redirected to set up your uh, login ID and password. So let me log in. Now once the login is successful, automatically you can see that uh, the connected broker will be automatically discovered from the environmental file. So what are the settings that you have done, the broker settings automatically detects what broker that you're connected with. In my case, I'm connected with FIRES. So let me connect the account here. So it automatically redirects to the portal. Let me log in with my client ID. So let me go and uh, log in. So once I'm done with the login, automatically it will be redirected to the Open Algo portal. I mean, not open algo portal, but your own private trading application, right? So once you confirm the login ID, you'll be uh, directly logged into the dashboard. And uh, what are the theme that you are switching? Uh, automatically, the theme will be remembered by the browser. So next time you open, uh, whatever is the old uh, theme, which will be automatically happening over here. And you can also see that the master contract got downloaded. So once you log in for the very first time, the master contract downloads so every time you are doing a fresh login the master contract will be automatically downloading and uh, it, it keeps those uh, data in the database which is very much essential for the automated trading and uh, you can uh, the front end dashboard you can see the uh, trading balances margins and uh, pnls order book right now there are no orders here but i'm going to send an order over here so from my ami broker i'm going to send i'm going to show you how uh, this time uh, it, it's gonna real time in a real time it's gonna update these information so let's say i'll go to the api key first time i'm gonna go and generate the api key by default you're not gonna see uh, there is an api key over here let's me copy that maybe if it's the first time you may not have that api key or you may have to go and generate the api key for the first time now once you had generated it just copy the api key and i'll go back to the dashboard and i'm here uh, in my ami broker i'll right click i'll go to the parameter i'm having this button trading module which you can find in the documentation section under ami broker so i'm gonna place this open algo api key right i'm gonna play some uh, test orders in uh, bhl so i'm gonna place one quantity of bhl test orders is what i'm gonna keep so i'll press ok on the left hand side i'm gonna keep ami broker and on the right hand side i'm gonna keep open algo Right, so what you can see from here is like, let's say I'll go to the order book. So order book, as I said, as of now it is empty. So I'm gonna punch an order with a press of a button. So the moment I press order the button, you can see that uh, the order is placed and instantly you can see that the order is getting updated over here. Let's say I'm gonna send a sell order over here. Sell order triggered. So instantly you can see that the sell buy or sell order is getting instantly updated. The same thing you'll be able to see in real time in the trade book as well as in the position book so uh, maybe I'll, I'll go and show you in the trade book so if you are seeing in the trade book 
So what you can sense here is like, uh, which I'll try to place an order here. I'm going to send an uh, sell order. Sell order trigger. Instantly you can see that the order is getting immediately getting reflected in the trade book as well. Not only in the trade book, but also in the lock section as well. Let me, let's say I'll go to the lock section. So there's a lock section here. So even in the lock section as well. So if any new order is incoming, so the last order is like 113104. Let's say I'm going to send two more orders here with maybe a different quantity. I'm going to send with like quantity as like, let's say like five quantities. So that it'll be easy for us to recognize. I'm going to send an uh, B. Buy order trigger. Automatically you see that it, it buys five quantity and then uh, BX. Sell order trigger. So it automatically triggers that uh, five quantity automatically gets triggered over there. Instantly it gets updated in the platform. Right? That is something pretty important to understand. And uh, along with that, uh, there is also a facility to search last couple of days trading logs. Or let's say you want to search only orders which are placed via BHL. So there is a search functionality is there. You can also download the data in a CSV format in the logs. And uh, even if you're having past logs, right? So last one year log or last six months log, or if in case if you want to select the logs only between that particular dates, you can select it and then you can export that into a CSV format. And you can also see that logs automatically in your uh, downloaded CSV file. So later on, which you can use it for your further processing. Right? It, it completely captures those details. Not only that, the detail logs you can still able to get. If in case we're going to go and navigate to the view request and response, you'll be able to see what request Ami Broker has been sending and what was the response. Right. So for security purpose, the API key is not shown in the requested data, but rest all the information will be available over here. You can go back and uh, narrow down to any particular uh, API and you can go back and check those requests and response. All the API requests will get automatically logged and all those requests will be automatically available instantly the moment any new trades are coming in. So you can uh, see the order book. Uh, so here is the uh, theme with a white theme. This is how it looks like trade book. So we have this position book over here and then we have this holdings. So if in case you are having any holdings and uh, uh, the trading view also automatically we, it, it generates the web book URL and uh, it, it generates a sample JSON. If in case you want to change it, let's say I want to change it to Nifty future. So Nifty November FUT. So earlier the search feature is not there, but now we had implemented this uh, interesting search feature. Let's say I'll just go and type like Nifty. So here you can go and select whatever the exchange you want. Let's say something like futures. I have to select like NFO. And now I can say like Nifty, NOV, FUT. It narrows down exactly with that uh, keyword based searches. Right? Earlier the search format is not there. Now the search format you can go and select it automatically. It updates the exchange and also it updates the symbol as well. So maybe if in case we want to search for MCX, so I just search for MCX. Let's say I want to search for crude oil futures. So I'll go and select something like crude oil FUT. So I should be getting this crude oil uh, futures over here, December futures. And automatically it updates in the JSON. So you can copy the webhook URL and you can copy the generated JSON and you can use this to place automated orders in uh, uh, trading view right so that is one thing and we also have this uh, search functionality so a couple of enhancements has been done on the search functionality as well so if in case you want to see the list of uh, let's say nifty nifty contract so it, it retrieves the top nifty symbols you can also see that or maybe if in case uh, it also comes with a pagination as well. So multiple pages, you can scroll through that. So this shows the database, what information has been stored in the inside the database. Or let's say you want to know about Reliance. So Reliance and then exchange, I'll keep it like NSE. So now let me search. So automatically it shows the keyword with Reliance. So whichever the symbol which are matching with the keyword name Reliance or with a symbol, it brings all those information instantly in front of you, right? So these are some of the changes that we had done with that. And even the dashboard also, it updates instantly. Let me check if the dashboard could update instantly. So I'll keep Ami Broker. 
let me try to place order buying order trigger that instantly the ami broker also uh, when the order is placed from ami broker it instantly updates the balances and it updates the pnl in real time whenever any new orders are incoming right so we also have this uh, wonderful buying order trigger as well so every time there is an order which is coming in the available balance will get detected and instantly you will also get that toast notifications right so any important notifications automatically the user will be alerted instantly in the open algo trading dashboard so i hope that is the uh, new change we had built all about so we this time we built completely using claude sonar 3.5 newer model not even a single line of code has been written manually right so we been keep doing this for quite some time and let's see what is there in store so yeah with this claude sonar 3.5 model we are able to make the open algo with new and innovative features so hopefully you like this so if you if you are uh, using open algo let me know what more that we can build on top of open algo so more interesting features are coming soon so stay tuned thank you